guys, welcome to an Urban Viking Ale Review. Today's beer is from Harveston and it's their Pale Ale coming out of 5% called The Ridge. Uh, I haven't had this one, I think I had this a long time ago when they brought this out as like a 330ml bottle, but I've just never got around to reviewing it, so yeah, so I can't really recall an old review to see what I thought of it, but I'm assuming it's going to be nice because most of their beers are so especially their like really special stuff they do like the, the Ola dubs which are basically their quarter which is old en old engine oil and they've matured it so you've got like a, a 12 they mature it in ILA whiskey casks so you get like a 12 year one and you get a 16 and an 18 I think they even go up to 24 I can't remember but they're amazing beers, but on its own, Old Engine Oil is just like one of the greatest porters. Um, I really need to re-review that as well, because it's been a long time since I've had that. But So let's give this a go. I don't know why my glass looks dirty, I've just cleaned it. Right. Yeah, I'm glad they've put this in the 500ml bottles, because, like I say, they put it... I don't know if they was just like testing the waters with it because they released this and one called broken dial as well which was 330 ml bottles but i don't know if broken dial is still about i'll have to have a look but but it seems it must be popular because they put it in bigger bottles now so beer in a glass nice and clear as you'd expect from harveston you don't really get any sort of cheese peas and carrots with these beers it's just very filtered uh nice white head doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Let's give it a nose. Yeah, straight away it just smells like a a good. It smells it smells more like a a hoppy lager than a than a pale ale. You're getting almost like a. Like, I don't know what the hop name is. Is it Target or Sars? Something like that. That's sort of like sort of lager bready sort of nose. But there is citrus there as well, mostly like a dry grapefruit, more like the pith than the flesh. But it smells really refreshing. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, I remember this. Mmm. Tell you what, I'm sure their beers, unless my taste buds have like uh, declined slightly, but I'm sure their beers are getting hoppier, like more, more bitter, which is a good thing for me. I love them, but this is a, a really nice example of a of a not yeah of a Scottish power because it's not an English power, it's a Scottish power. Um, you're getting those lovely sort of like. Hops, which I'll mention, I don't know if it's Target, I'll probably say it was Sars or something like that, but maybe like East Kent Goldens or something like that, or some sort of earthy hop. Um, but you also get in a nice citrus hop, which could be Cascade, I don't know, it could be. I, I'm, I'm pulling stuff out of my head here, I mean, but that's what it tastes like to me. But that, oh God, that bitterness is just lingering. It's really nice. It's not off-putting, you know, some people might, you know, I don't want to say that, you know, if you don't like bitter beers, don't bother with this, but it's good bitterness. It's not over the top, you know. I mean, I like my sours and beers like that, so this is nothing, to, not really much to me, but I can see it sort of like making your average sort of beer drinker thinking, ooh, but then they'd sort of get into it. Um yeah, this is really nice. So refreshing. I wish I got these in the summertime now. Yeah, I'm just going to say it's another 8 out of 10. Um, for the Ridge. A very, very well-crafted Pell Owl. Um, very refreshing. And I'm sure these, they're not very expensive either. I think... I got them from Harvest and I got a mixed box for about 29 quid. I don't know if that included postage as well, but that was like 29 quid and you get 12 bottles of beer. So 
that's a good price and um yeah so i'll definitely recommend that eight out of ten give it a go harvest and brewery cheers